Right tubes, I'm going to try the action cam on the lawnmower because I'm going to mow the lawns <laughs> and um, I'm also going to insert this cheap supposed to be 32 gigabyte SD card in here Okay, tubes part two. Um, what I've discovered is the remote. That's not go and stop. It's that's video. That's photo. So I put it on the lawnmower. I thought I'd treat you to a test with the lawnmower. But all I got was two photos. So I flagged that. The good news is when you put this on here. I can use the same mount as the other action cams because it screws into there. So that's good. I don't have to change the mounts over. I can just use this here and put that into the helmet. So helmet. Helmet, clip, there we go. Like that. What do you reckon about that? That's cool, eh? Well, I've got the other battery on charge. Oops, just fell out. Get back, get back. Anyway, I go out for a test ride and um, find, discover later that the is aiming down just at the bike so you don't get any oh, well, not very good video but um, just down like that the colors aren't too bad and we went up to the top of Mount Victoria and um, there's an old cannon up there with that inscription on it I'm not sure what that means but some of you aficionados will know and that's the bird memorial down there and that's uh, here's some photos of Wellington Wellington Harbour and out there in the distance is the Hutt Valley where we live so more of Wellington Harbour Wellington City and that says Clark on the Bird Memorial another one and then uh, pick the bike up again and uh, cruised on down the hill. Now I put a bit of video of going down the hill as you can see. Um, I don't know about the colours but they don't look quite right there in um, low light and into the sun there's a lot of lens flare and distortion on but uh, I think it's probably only a plastic lens as you can see there's <laughs> Not very good. And if you look at any horizontal or vertical lines that are close together, you get a, a shimmering effect. Of, see on the right there? Not very good at all. Colours aren't too bad in good light. Transitions are hopeless. You get all the frames mixed up all over the place. <laughs> so here we are. We decided to go out to Petoni out in the Hutt Valley and um, had an Indian meal for tea seeing we were running quite late 
to go to the Indian restaurant. I don't think sound on them is very good at all. So the Indian restaurant's just down the road here. That's the one there. Very nice meals they have there. Hey chips. By popular demand, well, you know, I think one person might have said something. Um, I'm going to, we're going to go for a ride today uh, for a coffee run with my mate Brian. So I thought it'd be a good opportune time to test out the um, little El Cheapo video camera action cam. So I've put it on, mounted it on the uh, handlebars, and um, I can keep an eye on it there. And we'll see how it goes. Didn't you get one? Bay or something? Yeah, right round past the old Air Force Base, isn't it? Round there. Okay. Wellington City. That's the uh, helmet cam. Don't take any notice of that. Uh, don't mm -hmm. take that. Don't let the corner of the screen that's cross that and see the data in the camera there. Yet. See the vibrant colours on the um, helmet cam. Around the bays to the cafe. Gone. Very popular, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, God. And then we uh, head home. Nice and steady. I'm using the El Chico camera. It wobbles around on the thing. On the selfie stick. But anyway, um, I hope I got some footage of my ugly mush as we rode along. Um, we just got back with did a short ride because it's very windy today, didn't want to go over the hill. So we didn't. We went around some of the bays in Wellington and had a coffee around at Royal Bay. And uh, anyway, I put the um, El Chivo camera onto a 1080p 30 frames a second because I was having trouble uh, doing any downloads when it was on 4K settings. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> 